Tonight, county supervisors have tentatively approved a move to end discrimination against all women, including transgender women and non-binary people. CBS 8's Richard Allen has more on what this new ordinance means and the fierce opposition in face tonight. The aim of this county ordinance is to eliminate discrimination against women. Dozens of enraged opponents, though, argue that because the ordinance also includes transgender women, they believe it would end up hurting women, providing access to women's shelters, bathrooms, and locker rooms to transgender women. All of you will be erasing women. It will endanger our girls in the very places that they should feel safe and thrive. Folks, we don't need or want little girls in fear that anyone who identifies as a woman can now enter what once was a sacred private space, a bathroom, or a locker room. Opponents of this ordinance, which is based on a United Nations treaty first adopted back in 1979, say that it discriminates against the women it's meant to protect. It allows pushing real women and girls aside from the tops of podiums or even the final 16 to be replaced by transgenders. That is not progress. It is pernicious prejudice. No amount of lipstick or a dress is going to make a man look like me. These hips don't like, like Shakira said. The goal is to define what constitutes discrimination and also develop policies on a county level to end it. It's already been adopted by other major cities, including Los Angeles and San Francisco. Although on the national level, it's not been adopted by the federal government. Supporters of the ordinance say this move is crucial to moving our region closer to gender equity. Inclusivity is a must and our transgender, gender nonconforming and intersex community members have been silenced excluded and oppressed for too long. Trans and gender nonconforming women are women, period, full stop. All women are vulnerable to the harm caused by gender inequities. The ordinance passed three to two with supervisors Joel Anderson and Jim Desmond voting against it. In my opinion, it's taking away from biological women. And that in itself, I think, is discriminatory towards women. Supervisor Nora Vargas had originally introduced this move. Well, there is no doubt uh, that progress has been made towards addressing existing issues. The truth is that there's more work to be done. And today was the first reading of this ordinance. The County Board of Supervisors will vote again to formally adopt it at the May 10th meeting.